Hey guys, what's up? It's JR Cuber, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to solve the 3x3x2 cuboid. So this video will be the first part in my cuboid series, which I'll be doing for the next several months in cubed. And I'm starting with the 3x3x2 because it's basically the best cuboid to start with if you're just getting into cuboids. Once you learn the 3x3x2, you'll know all the fundamental algorithms to solve basically any other cuboid. So first things first, I just want to quickly go over notation. Since the 3x3x2 is not a shape-shifting cuboid, all R, L, F, and B moves are automatically R2, L2, F2, and B2 turns. And then of course the U, along with the D moves, of course stand for regular 90 degree clockwise rotations, and U prime, as well as D prime, are 90 degree counterclockwise rotations. So this tutorial will be split up into five parts. Cross, then first layer corners, then second layer corners, then second layer edges, which will solve the cube. And then I'll be doing a couple of walkthrough solves to make sure you understand everything being taught. You can skip to any part of the tutorial using the annotations along the left. So with that, let's get started. Okay, so step one, which is cross. This is by far the easiest step and it's completely intuitive. You just need to make sure to get your color scheme right. So in this particular case, since red is here, this blue piece in the back needs to come to the right of red. So we can just turn the piece underneath the place it needs to go and then rotate it up like that. Now currently the cross piece across from red is green and orange needs to go there. So the orange piece is here and we can turn it over to that spot and then rotate it up. And that brings out this green piece which we can turn over and turn in like that. And that's all for cross. Okay, so moving on to step two which is second layer corners. So let's move the cross now to the bottom and we can look in the top layer for white corners and we'll just go ahead and use this one here. So in the similar way to the way we did the cross edges, we'll just turn the bottom layer until um, the corner piece matches up right underneath where it needs to go, which is here. And then we can perform this algorithm. R2, U, R2, U prime, R2. Very simple and easy to execute algorithm that's really easy to memorize as well. So now for the next corner, which is this one here, we'll do the same thing. We'll rotate the bottom layer until it arrives just above the place where it needs to go. And we will do the same algorithm. R2, U, R2, U prime, R2. And doing that algorithm brought out this red, white, blue corner here. And we'll turn that to its spot it needs to go and do the same algorithm. R2, U, R2, U prime, R2, which brought out the remaining corner. So you can put that above where it needs to go and do the same algorithm, just like that. And there we have our bottom layer corners, which form the first layer. Okay, so moving on to last layer corners. Now the first thing you wanna look for are headlights, and headlights are basically just two of the same color uh, going out in this direction. So sort of like headlights going out like that. And so here we have headlights here, so we're gonna take them and put them to the left so they're going this way. Now if you don't have headlights, just do the algorithm I'll be showing you now, and you will have headlights. So this corner permutation algorithm we're going to be doing switches two adjacent corners and two opposite edges. So sort of like a T-perm, but the edges don't matter right now. So with headlights on the left, perform this algorithm. R2, U, R2, U prime, R2. Then turn the cube to the left, or a Y rotation, and then do R2, U prime, R2, U, R2. So basically the corner insertion algorithm and then a Y and then the reverse of that. So now as you can see all of the top layer corners are solved. So now moving on to the last step of the solve which is permuting these edge pieces. And as you can see if you're familiar with PLL on 3x3 then this is actually a U perm. But we're going to solve it a bit differently for this cuboid. So here's how we're going to do this. There are two algorithms for permuting these edges and one of them is super easy. And what the super easy one does is it switches two opposite edges. So in this case, you can see this orange piece here is opposite the side it belongs back here. So we can do this very easy algorithm to put it there. R2, U2, R2, U2, R2, U2. So just R2, U2 times three. 
and we have put that orange piece in place. And now we're just left with an adjacent edge swap. And this is the algorithm to do it. R2, U, R2, U, R2, U2, R2, U2, R2, U, R2, U prime, R2. So not the shortest of algorithms, but this one is probably the most important algorithms you will need to learn for solving cuboids, along with the corner swap algorithm. And that's it, the cube is solved. So now I'm just gonna be doing a couple more walkthrough solves to really solidify everything that you just learned. So starting with the cross, the blue and green edges are already in, so we'll put in the red one next. Red goes to the left of blue, so we'll turn it over there and put it up. And then the last one is the orange piece, which we can turn here and put up. Then we can turn the cross to the bottom and start putting in the corners starting with this one here, so we can turn it above the spot it needs to go, perform the algorithm, just like that. That brought out another corner, which we can put over its place here, and put in just like that, which brought out the last corner, which we can put over its spot, and put in as well. So now moving on to last layer corners, first we'll look for headlights, which are here, so we'll put those to the left side, and then we'll perform the corner swap algorithm. And now all the corners are in place. Okay, so looking around the edges now, I can see that we can do an opposite edge swap here to put in this blue piece. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then we can do the same for this red piece to put it back there. And now we're just left with an adjacent edge swap, which we, oops, we'll do now. And there we go. So that's all for the first solve. Okay, so starting with the cross, the blue piece is already in. So we'll do red next, which goes to the left of blue. And then we'll do orange and then we'll do green. Okay, so for the first layer of corners, it actually just so happens that all of them are in, but these two are in their incorrect places. So in order to switch those, we'll take this edge and we'll do the corner insertion alg to actually bring it out of place. And when we do that, we can bring it over the spot it does need to go, put it in, and that brings out the last corner, which you can bring over and put in as well. So then the first thing we look for are headlights, in this case, we don't have headlights, so what we can just do is do the corner swap algorithm from any angle, really, and now, if it wants to focus, there we go. Now, we will have headlights, so we can put those to the left side and do the corner swap algorithm once more, just like that, and then looking around, we actually have the same case for edges we did last time, so we'll do it the same way. We can put this orange piece across there, I'm doing an opposite edge swap, and we'll do the same for this blue piece, put it over there, just like that, and then we have an adjacent edge swap. And there we go. So that about wraps up this tutorial video. If you're having trouble understanding anything in this tutorial, first try going back and re-watching any part you don't understand, and if you're still having trouble, Go ahead and leave a comment and I'm sure someone will be able to help you through any part you're not understanding. So that's all for this tutorial on the 3x3x2 cuboid. If you like this video, give it a like. And if you haven't already done so, like my Facebook page, follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and of course subscribe. Thanks for watching guys, bye.